Hello and welcome everyone to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. CB Cube, where we bake some broxes. That's wow. getting baked later, no doubt. What will we bake into? Uh, like probably like a uh, like an apple pie, I think. And really? Maybe an applin pie. An apple. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the show. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy. Jane. Ben, are you going to predict it? Oh, dark teardrop, dark teardrop. You're going dark? dark? Tear, yeah, I'm going dark teardrop. Going right. against the odds. Going against the odds. Here we go. Here we go. You can do this. You can do this. Come oh on. It's coming. Gosh. It's coming. So oh. close, but it's the raucous pummeling. Which ever, last week, it seemed like raucous pummeling was out in force. It did seem like it. You want to tell yes. them about today's randomly chosen common chase cards? Uh, I totally will. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be a Turtwig, Croconaw, and Iron Treads. So Ooh. no no raucous pummeling in the chase cards, Okay, so, sometimes yeah. that's handy for scorekeeping. In yeah. the meantime, as long as we're talking about scores, we got to talk about that team competition because... Things are kind of interesting. Yeah. We've got Team Electric up in first place, followed yeah. by Team Fire, Team Grass, and Team Water. Last week, Team Grass managed to clog their way back up, pushing Team Water all the way down into that bottom spot Gosh, there. sad for Team Water. It is sad for Team Water. Interesting enough today, coming into today's uh, competition, we have two members of the top five who are competing, who are going to be opening packs, so that should be Okay, that is exciting. The score to beat is going to be 132, which is currently held by Steven N. And as ever, we are also uh, watching the, the Big Steve watch, yeah. as it were, because we desperately want to see Big Steve get moved down one slot position into that quality eighth place, eighth place spot. So we don't normally play flay fl fl favorites, play but favorites. today we're doing it because we want to. Well, speaking of playing, let's go ahead and do it with our uh, current favorite contestant, Vinyacor. Oh, I love Vinyacor, Vinyacor, especially when we're opening for them. Exactly. They have got nine points on the season so far. This is just, this is their first full three-pack season ever, so they're about to get their first full score. So we're about to we're about to get a feel for what they look like under pressure. About to you witness know? history. Bam, electric. That would have been last week, but not this week, so put that down. The Mud Bray will score. Ghastly, Finnison, Dunsparce, Mudsdale, Cyber Maniac, Saucebuck, the Iron Hands will not score. The Saucebuck will at least be a critical hit, followed by the Iron Thorns. <laughs> So it's going to be, it looks like a six point pack when a, all is said and done. Yes, indeed. A rather interesting way to the six points for us. Uh, so well done to Vinyacor for, for kicking today off in an interesting fashion. There you go. And they Look, get 16 points on the season. 16 points on the season. Looks like that rock is pummeling is going to be showing up in force. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see more of that and some high scores today. Next up, we have Son of Dathomir. Son of Dathomir. Oh who I believe goodness. was a rookie of the day on their, on their last outing with 18 points, just one single pass. That is correct, yes. They pulled an iron crown on what looks like a multiplier, so if they pull another iron crown, I mean, it'll knows? be interesting. Off to the races. <laughs> It's weird that it happened twice. It's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> uh, we got the we got the uh, wow salad energy, the Bramblin, the Giraffe Rig, the Roselia, the Cutie Fly, the Roserade. Man, would have been a great week that. for salad. Yeah. The Keldeo, the Iron Jugulus, the Iron Valiant will not score. The Electabuzz will not score, and the Mel Metal. Wow, the worst possible pack you could get. The single two cent pack. Just, yeah. So that's that's what you're looking for. For I know we have a quality eighth place, uh, not quality eighth place, a last place contender. This is what you want. This yes. and 
and this alone is just worth yeah. two only cents or one point with excellent rounding. Do we have some last place contenders in this week? We do. I know that we've got Brooke uh, coming up for Team Water here in a few packs with just two points. Maybe Jacob Virginis uh, okay. for Team Grass has a couple of points. So they are on the slate for today, but a little bit further down the roster. All right. Well, we will be looking forward to them. Next up, we have got Mob Squad Doe. Uh, who uh, who has uh, mother of a champion? Yes, yes, indeed. Chase, Chase. Uh, I believe from last season. Those coming in today with four points for Team Fire of the Mod Squad, looking to looking to overcome that curse that seems to follow them everywhere. I uh, know. Can't she get more than two points like she's done all season? We've got Water, Teardrop, Energy, Pony, the Chatna, Cottony, Carvana, Senescorch, Palavin. It's not looking good. Licky, licky, the Bronzor and the oh, Torchera. Okay, okay. Well, so. I think that's even less than one point or less than two points. Points. It is indeed, yeah. yes. 40 cents will just round up to a single point, but it is a sleeveable yeah, card. You so do get a Torterra. You, you love know. you love to see that. Put it on that, that. Put it on the shelf. Exactly. Miss, Miss Del Put that on your fridge and stare at it forever. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right, next up we've got Conrad. Conrad for oh. Team Water with six points on the day. Also his rookie season, so this is going to be his first full season totals. Okay, okay, so this is very exciting, very exciting indeed. We got the, we got the water okay, energy, yeah. no multipliers yet. We got the grubbin, the medi score, score, the tranquil, the Mr. Mime, the chinchino, the Sableye, the great, great tuscle score. score. We got the deerling, the lickitung will not score, and the whimsicott to close out. So just three points. We got a little bit of a slow start here. That's okay because it means we're gonna finish big. That's exactly later on right. Today. That's exactly right. And Conrad is gonna finish with nine points for Team Water on the season. First full season, well done, Conrad. Last week, we saw the Ace Specs pull some very weird maneuvers where on a last place person, they got a Master Ball. They did indeed. And it ruined them. And then uh, I think it was Razi managed to pull an Ace Spec trying to go for first place, but it was like the worst Ace it Spec was, it, there. Yes, it's like almost anything else would have would have been absolute striking yeah. distance, but that one in particular wasn't going to do it. So hopefully the Ace Specs today will do a little bit better. Maybe it will be for Alyssa who comes into round three with seven points. For, for Team Fire. For Team Fire. Yes. All right. Boy. Team Fire, who is currently in second place over all in the team competition. They're looking for some big pulls to try to take down Electric. Yeah, now here we go. We've got the Scyther will not score, the Sizzlepeed, Perilous Jungle, Unfizant, Centiscorch, Palafin, Mighty, and, and the Ooh, Raging Bolt! Okay! I think we pulled that last week as well. Okay, I think it's a, it's a decent pull. Maybe not massive, massive. $4.40, so, so we'll round up to five. Five points there. Is that all? Was that the only scoring I'm card? I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Let's I don't see. think we had anything else. They didn't get the signed Scyther, but alas, Earwax, so no it, more scoring cards. So that's a five-point pack? Five-point pack five. there. For Alyssa, so For 12 Alyssa. on the season. 12 on the season, no Ace Specs have reared their heads yet. Exciting pull, less than none. In case you're wondering, we do have two bonus extra packs here to round out our 38 contestants today, and there are no rookies in the field today. None, none whatsoever. None. All right, but we do have an exciting contestant here. It is Brooke, a Brooke. former champion who is now competing for last place. I know, this is it's so interesting to see the tide shift, but still the champion's gonna champion. They're still gonna be- Doesn't gonna look have good their, off the top there. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, it looks even worse. Even worse for Brooke. Oh, so the no. Drillbird, that's gonna be worse. That's a two Two point drill, but right drill there. Five or we got the Rallor, the Ponytail, the Chatot, the Delmise, the Electivire, the Chinchino, oh the Sharpedo, no. oh, the Litten, oh, and oh, the, the Gengar. Gengar. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, Brooke, I feel so bad for you. I mean, the Gengar is a nice pull, I suppose, but it's not what you were looking for. Not quite. Only worth two points. $1.22. Uh, so, so what? Uh, six? One, yeah, so what? That's gonna be, yeah, six. One, two, three, times two, six. Six points for Brooke, so there we go. So yes. now, I mean, we're starting, nobody who came into uh, last place, or no, nobody competing for last place has done it so far. We yeah. do still have Jacob coming up here in a few packs uh, with two points coming into the day for Team Grass, so that's gonna be an interesting one to keep an eye on. Who 
Ooh. All right, next up we've got Sebastian. Sebastian. Playing from Germany. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sebastian's had a decent season so far with 15 points for 15 Team points. Water. Solid. First Solid. pack was worth 12, second yeah. was worth 3. Yep, let's see how Sebastian can finish the season here. We've got the Ekans, the Turtwig, which is actually worth some points. Tuciano, Wiglet, Colossal. Box order, Screamtail. Oh, oh, critical the hit in the box order. Hit. <gasps> Double critical hit. So we got a 4x of Roy Moon. So it's going to be what? Three times four is 12? 12, Look Another 12 point pack! Another 12 point wow. pack, that is amazing. So, uh, 12 point to start the season, three in the middle, 12 point to close out the season. You've got pretty yourself good. an Oreo sandwich. There you go. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. 27 so. points to close out, that is exciting. I can't believe in back-to-back -back weeks, weeks, we have had the double critical hit. I know, that's unbelievable. It and, is. And I mean, even in both, of these cases, are these? Would you consider this like a reverse hollow? This this is a reverse hollow, but if it's on the ancient of the future, you get this special effect on the reverse hollow, which okay. makes it look really cool. And this is just the more traditional reverse hollow with that like Pokeball print on it. Man, man. Yeah. Well, how about that? Yeah. Is this one? No, this is just a regular rare card. So yeah, there you yeah, go. There Thanks. we go. Okay. Okay. So, uh, best best pull we've seen of the day so far by a decent margin. Thanks to that four X multiplier. Yes. So way to go, Sebastian. Way man. to play the game. If only the guy and something a little bit juicier in there. They could have had some big points coming their way, but That's right. such is the game. Next up we have Kingdom Cam. Yeah, we'll see if Kingdom will come for Kingdom Cam. Indeed. Let's see. Oh, they're a pastor. Oh, well, how about that? Well, you know. Maybe let's 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 uh, let's let's pray for a good pack. Yeah, know? yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. So we got the Salad Energy there. We got the Raichu, the Victini, the Bronzor, the Mudbray Mud will score. The Mortys, the Shiftry, the Biancas, the LGM will not score. The Pikachu will not score, and the Iron, Iron Thorns. Thorns. Wow, just two points. Just after two all points. Is said and done. Yeah. It's gonna be seven points for Kingdom Cam. Nothing terribly thrilling on that particular pack, but you know you got a Pikachu, and you know what? Like maybe if this set someday, forty years from now, is incredibly Rare people be like, dude, you got the Pikachu. You got that Pikachu, you bro. Got the Pikachu. Probably not. Because they're all out of circulation. Nothing has competitive advantages anymore. Now it all just comes down to sheer rareness. Exactly. Of exactly. which it is not. But <laughs> still. Pikachu's popular Pokemon. Next up, we have uh, Reagan, Raygon. Raygon. Raygon, who has got 29 points, which means they are pretty high up on the scoreboard, if uh, I am not mistaken. Yes, yes, indeed. For for Team Electric, so this should be a this should be a reasonably big pull if it came into the day in the 15th spot overall. So okay. this would be somebody we'd keep an eye on uh, for that knocking Big Steve into the quality eighth place it, contender. It could happen. We'll just have to see how the cards lay. The Melt and the Palafin, the Ear. The Colossal, the Whimsicott will score, the Grotto will not, and then oh! the Frigiraffe, oh man. It's a pretty cool looking Frigiraffe. It is, it's got like the, the full art rareness to it, but is it enough? It's the first one we pulled this season. Wow. It only comes in at a $1.46, oh, no, so two, so two point. three, four, five point pack. Man, so that's going to bring them, what, to 34 on the season. Very wow. respectable, you get the Frigiraffe EX. But it just wasn't worth that not that many points. Yeah, unfortunately. But it is it is pretty neat looking. I do feel like the Pokemon Company is having a lot of fun with this um, evolution line at yeah. the moment. It oh, seems like sure. they're they're showing up everywhere. The Frigoraph. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know if that is that like a fan favorite or or it's like, just one of those that were back in Gen two that had giraffe rig and it was like why does why why isn't there an evolved form of that and now they're like okay let's do it Frigoraph. Why not? Yeah. And they also did that with Dunspar so that everyone's been like it feels like Dunspar should evolve into something we're like fine. The Dun Dunsparce. Are you happy? It's a longer worm. Yeah. Shut up. Seems like a fun one that to wasn't watch. me. That was Game Freak. Just, oh, okay. You know, you got it. Yeah. yeah. You can quote me quoting them on that. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, who do we got next? All right, next up is uh, Lockdown. Also having a good season with they 23 are. points 23. For, for Team Echoltricity there. Let's My see goodness. what we can Man, do. Man, Lockdown was once a model for Dick Sporting Goods. That's what? Impressive. That's so cool. That's Man. a fun fact. What do you think? That what kind of sports do you think they were modeling? Hmm. I like to think like curling. Curling? You know? yeah. 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 That's a sport I feel like we could still get into. We could still get into it. Is it too late? We could make Can't... it to the Olympics. Could we? 
Lockdown maybe did, or at least looked like it. Looked like they did. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Olympic curling. All right, so we got the Cottony or the Katani, I believe (laughs) I pronounced it last week. The Carvahana. We got the uh, Snake, the Turkwig, the Sableye, the Great Great Tusk. Tusk. Score. Oh yes, you're right. Yes, I was like, no, it's an Iron Trance. No, the Great Tusk. You're right. The Morty's Conviction. The Sableye. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a critical hit. The Cutie Fly and the Iron Boulder. Iron Boulder, which is also a Rockus Pummeling, so one extra point on top of that. Make sure to keep track. Of that number 192 on the set is gonna be worth one dollar 71. So, two, what? three, yeah, three, four, five times two is ten. Ten points. There you go. I four. cannot believe that's not worth more. Three. I know that is unbelievable. But look well, at lockdown. Lockdown, for lockdown hitting up 33 points on the season, double digits for every single pack. That is like truly rare, <laughs> truly indeed. Yeah, very good so season. That's gonna be a nice little jump up there, I think, into like around the Place. Pretty good overall. So well, well done to lockdown on the season. Who we oh, got next? A very bright future for lockdown. Next up, we have Rachel W, who is coming in with just four points, and uh, she got her niece obsessed with Pokemon. Hey, and is also a big T Swift fan. So that's exciting. That's so great. Said, seeing her in June. Seeing her in June. So probably, probably has happened. Or seeing in 2025. Oh, probably probably, yeah, probably yeah. has happened. Probably has happened. Lucky yeah. you. I, w- I would have loved to have gone. Rock is pummeling. I mean, the Aerostar, who knows if it'll ever end, you know? That's true. The Cedar, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Sableye, the Iron Valley, the Rescue Board, the Behemoth, the Grottle oh, well, is awesome. And there's that Dun Sparse. Gotta love it. Let's see the Grottle. Love that artwork. That's a good one indeed. Uh, let's see, 164 we'll on the set. Doubling up the points right there. Too bad we couldn't get a little bit more squeezed out of this pack, but we'll see. I know, so the Grottle's gonna come in at $2.67, around up to three. three four, eight. Eight. There we go. It's solid. It's solid. 11, 12 points total there for Team Water. Don't know if that gets any points on the board, but at least you get the grottle. That's exactly right. But now is when the excitement happens. And in fact, I'm going to go with one of our bonus packs. Oh, here we go! Because we got uh, Jacob Worginus. Um, who is going to be stepping into the fray with two points on two the points. season. A grand total of 17 cents, I believe. So what we want is one point out of this pack. We want no fighting energy. We want no fighting Pokemon. We want no chase cards, and we want a, like something like a Mel Metal at the end. We do indeed. Okay. That's, Good start. It's a great start. That's what we want. It's a great start. It's not okay. fighting. Okay. We're doing this, Jacob. All right. Okay. Ready? No! Come on, the mud bray. The mud right bray. There, just taunting us. The ghastly, the fin is in the rescue board. Oh, the, the sandy, sandy shots, shocks. The rats go. Oh, no, the sizzle peed won't be. score. The Carvana won't score. And the Mirage. Uh, oh, my God. If only. Is there a type we could have? Had it been electric last week, we would have been fine. It would have done it. Wow. Oh, my gosh. If but only. instead, it's going to be three, three points for Jacob, and they are out of contention. Five point total. Ugh. Oh, well, well done either which way. Way to be in it. Way to be a part of the conversation. The thrill, the heart rate right now. We should get heart rate monitors. So I know. Can people see, can like, see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do get very into this game once we're playing it. All right, next up is uh, Palo Azul. Azul, so, Azul. Azul, Azul. I think Azul. Well, it says like bull. Oh. Bull, Azul, like bull? Azul seems like a Spanish word. I mean, it seems like the word for blue. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I would say Azul. I'm gonna say Azul. Azul as well. Look, you know what, Palo Azul? I'm gonna even. I'm sorry if that's wrong, but one of the best Pokemon players in the world is Azul GG. So I think you know, since we're playing Pokemon cards right now. Yeah, there you go. We should we'll just you know we'll defer to that. We'll defer. There we go. <laughs> Darkness teardrop. All right, we have Nuzlocke, Minchino, Rockruff Rock 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 yeah. scores, Litten, Box Order, Screamtail, Sableye, Rescue Board, Medicham scores, and Feraligatr. There we go. So there you go. You get three points right there. Boop, 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 boop. A little something out of nothing. And, and uh, um, an uptick. It was two points, two points, and then three points. And then to three close points. close out the season. You know? You direct, as far as I can see, if I'm looking at a chart, it looks like you're trending upwards. Exactly. Exactly. Right? For what total of seven on the season? Although seven seems like it's like the top of the bell curve so it, far. It, it definitely does. Lots and <laughs> yeah. lots, lots of sevens seem like they showed up last week. Here's an energy card that goes with uh, Apollo Azul. There we yep. go. There you go. 
All right, this is, uh, next up we've got uh, Kyle McCune. That's telekinesis, Kyle. That's right. Sounds Kyle right here. Kyle has been known to be Rookie of the Day, which yes. you can only do once, but Kyle has been known to they do it. They did it with 40 points. Yes, very boy, impressive. Boy, first. would they love to pull a 40-point pack here and boost their score to 50 on the season. Boy, would I love for yeah, them to pull a, me too. a, a 40 Let's here, see it, so. Kyle. All right, Kyle, so we got the Ghastly, the Finizen, the Dunsparce, the Snom, the Reunculus, the Explorer's Guidance, the Latias, the Duosion will not score, the Lycanroc will, will score, and the Roaring Moon is just one. So instead of 40, we came down to two. Two, which is not exactly the same. It's not. But it's like, like 38 off. Yeah. If but if you're dealing in in volumes of like millions, then they're terribly close. But <laughs> if you're dealing in volumes of like ones, then they're pretty far. They're apart. pretty far apart. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, it is in ones. It is in this the, go yeah, round. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed. All right. Well, next up, we've got Jacob C. All right, Jacob C. with six points six for Team points. Echoltricity. And we need. I'm feeling like this box is due. It's due. The box is due. It's and, not giving us much so far at all. And looking back at Jacob C.'s performance over over the months, we've got 16 points end of season, two points, four points, wow. ten points. It seems it seems like Jacob. Jacob has is due himself. Put the reps in. Yeah. You know. Let's see if it pays off now. Pineco, Mawile, the Metatide scores, the Rabambi, the Hand Trimmer, the Rabska, the Ponyta, the Skitty, and the oh. Flutter. May no, not exactly what we wanted Jacob, for Jacob. It's okay. If nothing else, consistency. Consistency. You're showing up. We feel strongly that your day is just on the horizon. It's just on the horizon. Yeah. It's gonna happen for you. You know, it's going to happen for you. You're coming in. You're putting in the work, and that work will pay off. Exactly. You know. Exactly. All right. Next up, we've got Jeremy. Jeremy. We're at seven points on the season thus far, so they won't finish at the top of the bell curve. But you know, at least a little ahead of it. At least a little bit ahead of it. Yep. So yeah. let's see here. So above average, Jeremy with the Metal Energy, the Poochiana, the Wiglet, the Meltan, the C Dot, the Shiftry, the Biancas, the Rionculus, the Feraligator will scores. score. The Charger Bug will not, and the Maridon will score. Amazing. Number one twenty-two on the set. I doubt it's going to be anything extraordinary, and it is not. Sixty-two cents will round up oh, to one. No, so. Just Two. two points on the pack there for that one. We'll sleeve you up though, less than none. There you can go. enjoy that Mariah on. Enjoy being ahead of the curve, you know? Exactly. exactly. At nine points. There we go. Two points to nine. All right, next up we have Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Here we go. Coming in with six points so they could land on the curve with just a single point. Boy, how upsetting would that be, though, for who was it earlier? Jacob Origenis. Oh, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, let's see. We've got, the, we've got the salad energy there, the Pikachu. Enjoy Ooh, that. that. Scyther. The Scyther, which Jay will sign oh, for you. We've got the that. Sizzlepeed, the Meryl, the Ancient it. Booster, the Iron Treads will score. I don't feel like we've seen many of those. Buddy Buddy Poffin will score. The Rabombi will not. The Heatmore will not. And the Fluttermane will. So was that be five, five points? Point pack. All right. Plus a signed card. Not a bad value for 11 points on the C. Season. That buddy, buddy Poffin. That's like super playable. Super playable. You and know. I was gonna say the same thing. So playable. Yeah, yeah. I'm running like four of them at the moment. Are so. you got a whole playset? I know. I would. You know, what would be great is if I had a full four gold playset. Yeah. You know what they need is do they have a gold one that was. There is a gold one. Yeah. There is a gold buddy, buddy Poffin. I know. Okay. Another... I don't have a single gold one. So. <laughs> am I up or are you up? I think I am up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For Earth, who Earth. we met. We did meet in, in New, New York. York City. Yes. Hi, Earth. Thanks What's for coming. Up, Earth. Great to meet you. Earth is doing really well. They've got 37 points, man. So they are in prime position to knock Steven down into eight. Let's see. Can it. Earth be the hero we need right now? Shroomish, Lickadung, Chargerbug, Slugma, Valiant, Bored, Bombi, Vikable, Rapidash, oh, and Raging, Raging Bolt. Bolt. Uh, it looks like a single pointer. It does. I mean, you gotta give Earth credit for pulling an ultra rare, but was it enough? Yeah, so just a dollar seventy-eight on that one. No. We'll round up to two. Thirty-eight Good on the season. Gracious, that that fifty-point ceiling feels like like unbreakable it's, at the moment. It is crazy how much. Uh, it's like you want to think that. In in three more boxes, someone will do it. You gotta think. You gotta yeah, think. think. But the so. further we go, it's almost the better it is for Big Steve. Because then it's like then it only takes one. Yeah. It could be the last pack. Exactly. All right. Next up though is Mistevios, who we met at RTX last year. We did indeed. Yes. Yep. That yeah. that event is officially over forever, yeah. probably. Or one out for Rooster Teeth. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Stevios has got five points on the board at the moment, but is about to add to that handily, I'm sure. Um, I believe Mysterious is actually one um, 
No, was it at RTX when we met Mysterious or yeah. or Go Fest? Oh, Go Maybe Fest. It was both. Because I'm pretty sure Mysterious won trivia. You're I, right. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you meet us, we try our best to remember. Um, all right, so we got our, our teardrop energy there. We got the Totodile, the Deerling, the Pydove, the Pine Co., the Explorer's Guidance, the Latias, the Ancient Booster, the Future Booster, the Katani, then the Feraligator right, for just a single, single point. point. Wow. So unfortunately, landing below the curve on this particular wow, sorry, occasion. sorry, occasion. However, you do get a marked up Feraligator. That's which, right. If, I mean, talking about cards that could potentially have value in the future. Exactly. You know, like if we ever hit extreme levels of fame, people will be like, wow, you have one of the marked up for alligator cards from that one other show they do? I know, and you know what, as you're saying that, I'm like, people are like, you know what, it'd be easy to mark up my own for alligator, so to just to prove that this one is from this show. Oh, go ahead. there you go. A little Bam. initial action. There you go. Now this is the only one like that. So. I like it, I like it. You're welcome, Mysterios. Hopefully it's a PSA 10. Hopefully, yeah. Go ahead and get that graded, and they'll be like, this has got marker all over it, so <laughs> this is like a one. It's like, not good. And you're gonna be like, yeah, but now it's in a plastic case. So. Right, so. Right. Right. Preserved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Autographed. If yes. so facto, that's how it works. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my gosh. All right, next up we have God Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute. Coming to the five points. Blue Can Mal they get ahead of the curve? Blue Malamute has been known to come in last place at least once ever before. I think maybe in season two? Season two with one point. With just one point. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. We got the raucous pummeling oh, energy, so awesome. that's going to double us. We well, got the, the Golet, which nice. will add that. The Elgym, the Meltan, the Nuzleaf, the, the Lycanroc, Lycanroc, the Delta, yeah. the Future Booster, the Yamper, the Crocodile, Will Score. Look yeah. at that in the Macargo. Hey. So that is a hard fought eight point it pack. It is. Uh, for Blue Malamute there. Well done to them. 15 points on the season. Man, that is wild. Good job to Blue Malamute. What a fun, what a fun pack. Yeah, that was well done. Well yeah. did. I love to say, I love when people like, like tic tac their way up to some points. Yes, yes. You know? But what I would also like to do in this, in this box is see somebody just like wrecking ball their way into some points as well. And you know, know who might do that is our next uh, our next contestant who is going to be Dom of Fast and the Furious fame, mm -hmm. aka Dominic Toretto, mm -hmm. aka I assume that they're okay with us making this reference because they've been around since season three and haven't, you know. And have highlighted the fact that they share a birthday with Vin Diesel. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah Coincidence? Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. I think yeah. not. Okay. There's almost no way in the world that this person coming into the day with 23 points isn't the one and only. All right. Well, you know what? I can't think of anyone better to wrecking ball into the points than Dominic Toretto from Fast and the Furious. They've got 23 points already. Now, Ethan, cut quick to Dominic Toretto shifting before he's about to make some type of big, you know, move. Yeah, yeah like, like 10 second race. <laughs> Have right. you noticed they shift too many times? It doesn't the, really make sense why. Yeah, do they shift into like eighth gear sometimes? Yeah, it's like it's like you know, like, usually like you might have six, but like that's too many shifts. Did you go back down some? Then they hit the NOS on top of it. Nah, you know? Yeah, this is a 10 second race. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Iron Jugulus, Full Metal Loud, the Go Lurk will score, the Torakat, the Solosis, Drampa! Look now, Dom, I don't want to say I'm disappointed. But that was two points. But that was two points. You know what? I will say you did bring a wrecking ball here with the Go Lurk a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see guess it. I see there's it. So, that. So they got the memo, they just didn't read Not it. what I meant. Yeah. But yeah, it's that's creative. Okay. That's a, Yeah, indeed. Creative. creative. Well said. Well said. Give you Classic that. Dom. Dominic Toretto, known for his creativity. I'm big on finger painting, even. Big on finger painting. You know what? Not not creative, I suppose. True. You know, behind I mean, the steering wheel. Come up with some big, pretty big stuff. Yeah. Up next, we got Vicky. Is Vicky, am I reading this right? Is Vicky at 61 points? Vicky's at 61 Vicky's points. Vicky's at 61. So this is going to be scoring points for Team Water, no, no matter what. No matter what, Team Water is about to score. I, I don't like to think that this actually makes a difference. We are in the middle of the box at the moment, and yeah. it seems like sometimes the middle of the box is where things heat up. We got the Salad Energy. That could just be hearsay, but we got the Mawile, the yeah, Meta will score, the Turdinator, the Hoot Hoot, the Iron Treads will score, the Buddy Buddy Pop, Pop, and the, the Lycan Rock. Rock, the Metagross will not score, the Reuniculus will! Reuniculus, like I was saying, and then the Drampa to close things out Man. with Chip. Wow, Ben, once. I think you totally called that one. That was a uh, that was a nice one. I don't know how much uh, how many points this reuniclus is going to be worth, but it's going to be three dollars thirty one cents. Rounds up to four. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points. Look More at tic that. 
for uh, for for or Team Water just adding eleven to their total, which they need yeah. because they are currently in last place overall in the team competition. But there maybe that'll make things. Maybe that'll shake things up. Well, that brings her up to uh, seventy-two points on the season. Well done. To I mean, Vicky. extremely good. Where does that put them in the overall rankings? Let's here? take a quick peek here, because seventy-two is gonna be oh, then fourth place. No, no, put third them to place. third. Third place overall, overtaking Braun by one point. Braun by one point. Braun does still have packs left. To open okay. also from Team Water though, so there is still some potential for that. Wow, and Braun Vicky is and not Braun in today's episode. Carrying the team, I dare say. All right, now we opened up Becky Borst's pack last time. This time we have Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Hated rivals. It goes deep. Here we go. Now Beck Squad's only coming in with five points on the season. I don't think Becky Borst is doing much better, if I'm being honest. But yeah, let's. I don't know how quickly we can try to here. find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, see Becky Borst, where are there it seven is. Seven points, points so, on the season. Wow, so right now there is room to lose. You have five points now. Can we get higher than seven? We need three. We, we need, need three. And right three now win. we're pulling for you, Beck Squad. Here we go, because right now you're our favorite. Yeah. I do think I, well, no, I don't. Okay, Solosis, Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Handtrimmer, Rabska, Jugulus, Melmetal oh, will oh, score. Yeah. C-Dot and Maridon. Oh, no, it's going to be a tie. A tie? What? What? Oh, goodness. Wow. It's not what you want to see. The rivalry grows. It's like, what, what are the odds of that? Yeah. Two teams that we, two people that we've arbitrarily assigned as rivals of one another have finished literal <laughs> neck and neck. Literal neck and neck at the most average score this season. Yes, I yes. Mean, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Well, tempers, I'm sure, are hot right now over in uh, Camp Beck. But, uh, you know, next season, we'll see how they duke it out. You know, there's That's a lot right. on the line. There's a lot, yeah. Who will ransom play? Next up is Low Skill Rob. Low Skill Rob, someone who I can personally relate to just a little bit. I feel like Low Skill Rob, maybe we have assigned as arch nemesis of Below, Below Average, average gaming, gaming Dad. dad. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Are they both in today's episode? Well, I would... hope so. That would be so great. I don't think they are, but that's all right. So anyway, we're, we're going to keep an eye out for that one. We're going to set the code card aside. We're going to get our, our Mel Metal Energy there, the Minchino, the Rock, Rock Ruffle Score, scores. the Litten, the Shroomish, the Iron Hands, the Heavy Baton, the Mist, Mist Energy, the Slugma will not score, the Mudsdale will, as will the Mariah. Right, so one, two, three, four, five points five total. Season. For low or five skill. on the five on the day, ten on the season. That's exactly right. So well done to low skill Rob. There we go. Kind of clinging together some points there. Doing what they can. All right. Next up, we've got Bubsy. Bubsy. Who is coming? Oh wait, where is Bubsy's oh, score right here? Yeah, not overhead camera. Okay. okay, start again. All right. Next up, we got Bubsy coming in at six points here. All right, Bubsy All right. for Team Fire. A lot of people starting to float in around that seven point mark, Ben. I know. Yeah. So it's we're crazy. looking. We're looking to just absolutely blast that out of the water. We, want we don't want to see too many people aggregate. Someone needs to come on with the wrecking ball, man. Someone's gonna do it. The Heat Mord, the Amper, the Torcat, the Shaman, Fortress, Vikavolt, the, the Drill Bird, the Finizen, oh. and the Marcargo. So Bubsy just adds more kinetic energy to the wrecking ball wherever it is. I feel like it's gonna it's gonna come in it's hot. Gotta, it's gotta come in hot. You just know it's there, so let's pass those aside and see what we've got next here. We've got PC. PC. Relatively not, new to the game. Not to be confused with Mac. No, not to be confused with Mac, but PC. This is their third season, but only but their first three pack season. First so three pack season, okay. We've seen them. They came in, they did a one point pack, then three, then three, then ten. So they've only been moving upward. Upward trajectory. We got the Let's Eyeball Energy, we got the Beldum, the Heat More, the Roly Coley, the Azumarill, the Del Caddy, the Future Booster, the Iron Hands, the Shaman will not score, the Mr. Mime will not score, and the Relicanth okay. will uh, score twice with just three points for pair, uh, uh, for PC, rather. All right, well, I spoke too soon. I, I, maybe I jinxed the PC there because now they have dropped. They're, they're, for the first time, their chart has moved downwards. Moved downwards. That's too bad to see, but 16 points on the season. Not it's a commendable bad, showing. Bad. Did I write down? All right, cool. Next up, we have got Methy. Methy. Methy, who has got three point packs back to back coming into today for a total of six. Can they get uh, a big pack here? Can they jump ahead? They had, in fact, going back to season 10, they also had a three point pack before that. So they're hoping to break the three streak. The three streak has been large. We got three, 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 back there to back. There we go. Back. Okay. You'll love to see that. So we can't get three. We can't we know get that three. Much. Exactly. But can we get four? We got the drill. The drill bar. So, yes. yes. The goaler. Goal yep. Here we go. The, the mist. mist. Yep. The Lottie and the Coridon. Okay. Okay. All right. Strung it together. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. 
five times two is going to be ten. Ten, there you go. So that's sixteen on the season. Sixteen, not so bad. Okay, All right, Matthew joins PC for back-to-back sixteen-point -back finishes. It also feels like about the right time to bring up the fact that we haven't seen any A spec cards it does inside seem, of this and, set. And there's only like what a uh, nine packs, ten packs left on I know, the day. So there's something interesting left to happen. There we, is. We have not seen much of anything really. No, we have not. Like, these final packs better be packing or else this has been a real dudsy of a box. It has been. All right, so let's see. We're going to go for one of our bonus packs in the back, which throws off all the pull rates entirely for, for Juve. Juve 16. For Juve 16. Just right. their second pack ever. Second pack ever for Here Juve. We go. Let's see what we got for them. Oh, it's a rogue pack too, it's so who pack. knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. All the odds are out the door. They are indeed. We got the metal energy there, the dun sparse, the snom, the Pikachu, the Scyther, Scyther, which Jay will sign for you, the hand trimmer, the Ferretris, the full metal lab, the Ghastly will not score, the Frost Moth will not score, and the Relicanth will come in with just two, two points, points. But at least you got that sign Scyther. At oh, least boy. you got the sign Scyther, because otherwise that was that was a tough pack to see unfold. But there the Relicanth is is it a rock fish? It's a rock fish, man. Man, yeah. Well, you know, I like fish. Yeah. So Relicanth plays like a weird role in uh, Ruby and Sapphire where you can only like dive down at the bottom of the ocean into a few spots and catch it and like you need it to get to the Reggies and stuff. It's like part of a big puzzle. So okay. There okay. is some like in-game infamy to it. There's, there's a reason why it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. We'll take and it. And there's we'll a much nicer it. looking version of it too you can pull, which okay. is a lot cooler. All but right. All in right. the meantime, all right. So next up we have uh, Tim and Tonic. Tim and Tonic? Tim and Tonic. Here we go, who has four points and runs a craft cocktail TikTok. Boy, I should follow you. Sounds like my kind of TikTok. I, I'm fairly certain this is what we commented last time and probably the time before that. Probably, and I but, bet I was like, you know what? I do follow someone like Dicey Drinks. That's always a fun one. They just sort of do like Dungeons and Dragons cocktails. You that's know? cool. Or they like, that, sorry. They just roll and they have a big menu and it's like, here's what I'm making. And then sometimes it's good, and a lot of times it's bad. That's the fun part. That's, yeah, it's like I like to see when it doesn't. work I like work to out. see when it doesn't work. But sometimes they'll be like, "Hmm, hot sauce, whipped cream, and Jaeger. It's amazing." <laughs> what? That was probably not a good example. That yeah. doesn't sound good at all. But uh, Frostmouth, Crocodile will score. The Latias, the Great Tusk will score. Bronze Long, Mudbray, Berlum, Relicans. A little oh back gosh. and forth there. One, two, three, four, five. Five points for Tim and Tannick, closing out the day there. We're going to come up to nine total on the season. You can enjoy, enjoy that, that Relic Canth. We're getting a little school of them going at this I point. I know, right? There we go. Here we go for Tim and Tannick there. Next up, we've got Aaron B. Aaron B. Just to, just to add some additional intrigue, coming up later in, in today's episode, we're going to have Hannah for Team Grass, who currently has 70 points. Wow. Uh, who's going to be going up against Vicky, who now has 72. Wow. So, so that'll be... Could pass her. That'll be a fun rivalry to see unfold. We've fireball. got our Fireball Energy. We've got the lick -a tongue the charge bug the Slugma, the Solosis, the Sandy, Sandy Shocks, Shocks will scores. score. Behemian, uh, the Rapidash, Behemian, Behemian. Behem. Behem. Okay, yeah. we got there. The Cypher Maniacs, the, the Golurk, Golurk will score. score. And oh, the Iron Boulder will we score. Go. So number the Iron nine, Boulder. Number 99 on the set is worth one point. So, so just three points three after points all that. Three points after all that. That means yeah. that Aaron B has three three-point packs back-to-backs for a total of nine. Man, well, there's something to be said for that. We should have some sort of, like, slot machine rule where if you get the same score three times in a row, you get, like, a multiplier. Oh, something. that seems like a fun one. Maybe right? we can find, like, a fun little, like, slot machine online and yep. we could, like, pull, like, a lever and have some, like, associated bits with it. But that'd be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, I okay. like it. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, next up we've got John Borg. John Borg. I want to say has been around since the very beginning. Thanks for sticking with us there, John. They've got six points on the day so far. It's crazy, we've had a lot of six point people after round two. They've all gotten there in such different ways. True. Like we've had lots of two fours, lots of five ones, lots of three threes. It's been a strange season to say the least. Yeah. All right, here we go. Lightning Bolt, so nothing on the multiplier. Ponyta, Chata, Cotney, Fortress, Vikavolt, Latias, Coridon, Will Score, Meryl Will Not, and Iron Valiant Will. There we go. We've got two more points on there, which is going to bring their total to eight on the season, just barely ahead of the bell curve there. There we go. Well, we should have actually someone graph this out and see where the scores. I know. I'd be so lie. curious to know. It, it feels like we've had a low score day. Yeah. With our highest score at the moment, I think it's 12 points. But look at this. Th we've only got seven packs left, and we haven't pulled a single A spec yet. Not one. Okay. Like, what is so going on? Someone has got to get one. Maybe it's a dud box. All right. 
Witch Storm. Witch Storm for Team Fire coming into the day with six points overall. Oh, this is a uh, Witch Storm. I think we might have met Witch Storm because they're friends of the Cartavian. Yes, we yes, did meet Witch. We did yes. meet Witch Storm. Indeed, yeah. they were together. Okay. All right. Let's do it. We we know you. We got this. We're in it together now. The Yamper, the Grubbin, the Medicham will score, the Tranquil, the Heavy Baton, the Mist Energy will score, the Sandy Shocks will score, the Electivire will not, but hey! the Bianca's Devotion will! I am pretty sure that is a big card. I oh. was looking at the sheet earlier, that has got some points behind it. Let's see, yes, that looks like a great card. Number two, Absolutely zero, nine. Nice. What is that going to do ahead, for us? Oh for yeah, you. that's fun. We found something enjoyable. Thirty-three dollars fifty-nine cents. Thirty-four points. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine points. Thirty-nine points. Oh my gosh! And unbelievably though, that is going to still fall short of, a, of a, that fifty-point ceiling at forty-five, 45 points for which but storm. But do they the score season. for Team Fire? That's the other. Oh, question. they almost certainly. Oh, they must yeah, be. Yeah. yeah at, that, at that point, let's see if I can. Which this is a big deal because fire is in second, right? Yes. So yeah, the the score the bottom score was twenty eight points, and that's up to forty five. So that should add what uh, twelve is seventeen points. Yeah, there we yeah, go. There we go. Okay, amazing. Well, well done to which well done. See, Look at that. I told you we had your back. There you go. Bianca's a Devotion. Great pull. Great pull. Best one of the day by far. Yes, yes indeed. And no multipliers or anything. And no multi Imagine if they had the multiplier. Oh. That would have been, that been wild. That would have been, been way so thrilling. They'd have knocked Steven into eight. Uh, all right, next up we have Lauren Classic. This is Classic Lauren. Classic Lauren. Yeah, all the, way, all the way since season two. Since season two. Potentially in season one, but we didn't keep our records from season one. So this that is as far back as you can go in this game show. It is, it is. So for uh, Lauren coming in with six points yet again, can we get something crazy? I would say it seems unlikely, and yet it doesn't because the ace specs. I know, because there not needs shown to be up. something left. Like, I... Every single time we've had two ace specs, right. like, it'd be so crazy for that trend to break. We're right there. We're right there. There's the water energy, Licky Licky, Matang, Carcoal will score, Grottle, Booster, Iron, Iron Treads, Treads, Buddy Buddy, 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 buddy. the Victini will not, the Senescorch will not, and the Gouging Fire is something. There we go. Probably just a point, but we'll double check it. $1.24, so it is worth oh, two. 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 So two, five, six, seven. Yes. Seven, Seven points. points. There you go. All right. That's not too bad for, for classic lower end there. Getting us all the way up to 13 points. 13. We'll go ahead and sleeve your gouging fire for you. Of course, your buddy, buddy Poffin actually was doing more actually lifting doing, Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> there we go. But enjoy nonetheless. Indeed, indeed. All right, Ben. Okay. Here we You know who would be... You know... Do you know... Why well, I'm not surprised the Ace Specs haven't shown up yet. Because, because of what's coming Goddess up. Princess is on the board. Goddess Princess is famous for being in scoring positions. Just, I mean, I I don't want to say that, like, you know, it, it's crazy to me how, like, they're they're easily the most entertaining player in the game. It could be. It seems like. It they're could They're always be. doing something weird. It's just like, how how does it keep happening? I don't how, know. How does it keep happening? So let's see. So nine, at, coming into the day with nine, nine points. Nine points. I doesn't mean, seem crazy. Right. Not a Who lot knows? To, right. Yeah, so we're, we're about to find we're out. We're going to find out. So we got Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Drafrig, Bolton, the Mudsdale will score, Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking, Will not. Bianca's Devotion. Oh, that's the regular, regular one there. One. The Matang will not score, and the, the Iron, Iron Valiant. Valiant. Oh. oh man, we really talked that up. <laughs> we did. I mean, you know, there's that's what you have to do. That you have to you have to assume the best because yeah. then if it is, then it's like yes. This is the power of reputation. You yeah, know? that's exactly it. Exactly well, Goddess it. Princess, as per always, we were entertained. We were entertained. You know, even when he didn't show up, we were like we 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 thought maybe something. Right. And yeah. that was entertaining in and of itself. It was. We said here we are now. Exactly. Entertain us. Here <laughs> Next up, we have Hannah. Hannah. That was for maybe the most popular song of all time. Yeah, yeah. It smells like Teen Spirit. It smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. All right, are you up? I am up uh, for Hannah, who is coming in with 70 points. And this is Andy's neighbor from Toy Story, from Toy Story. aka Sid's younger sister, mm -hmm. aka. The owner of a Marie Antoinette yes. dining doll. Yes, and her sister. Here we go. Bam. Grass energy. Nothing doing there. The Ekans. The Turtwig. 
the Poochiana, the Great Tusker score, the Bronze Song. Oh, uh, no! Critical Wait. hit? No. No, different. They're different. That's they both weird. score. They both score. Yeah, absolutely. The Haunter and the Mel Metal. So Ooh. different Great Tusks. That is a rare one right there. That is. So um, just three points. Three points. I guess why did I put the Grass Energy? Down I'm here? not really sure. Nope. I was wondering the same thing. But 73. So 73. Does that change anything? Well, it's interesting because uh, I believe it was Vicky earlier got up to 72. Oh, you're so right. So the three points oh, no. actually <laughs> nudges Vicky out of the way, and I believe puts. Hannah in third place overall, and Vicky in fourth place overall. So. so what's crazy to me is that people atop the leaderboard have been shifting positions, but in but no one has jumped into the leaderboard. No one, no right? one. Right. So yeah. like Stephen has remained at seven. It's craziness. All right. Uh, next up is Mark. Mark, who always hits the mark. Mark. All right. Let's As see. As it were, sir. Coming in with ten points. No a specs. Three packs left. Four packs left. Right? We might be missing a pack. We might be missing a pack. I might need to get another one. We'll find another one. That's there okay. it is. The rock is pummeling. We'll get us double digits. We got 10 points for Mark Mark. The Raichu, the Victini, the Bronzor, the Behem the Rapidash, the Boltund. I can't say it. Why can't I say it? Because it's Be a weird word. Behemian. Behem. 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 And just look at that Pokemon. It's not even worth remembering. to forget it's, it. Don't okay, even try. Okay, just okay, forget okay. it. I don't want to look at you it. You don't want to look at we it. We got the Roselia, which will do nothing. The Delmise, which will do nothing. And the Mel Mel Metal, which. No! <laughs> Come on. Oh, dude, Mark Mark! What are you doing? With a two times multiplier on value, you are up to four cents. Or two points. Twelve on the season with that oh, Mel Metal, dude. Twelve on the season. Well, okay. this, I mean, I don't want to say I'm feeling a little defeated here. I'm like, where are the ace specs? They better be in both of these packs. They better be. They had better be, and I think we counted wrong because we have... Two more packs left. We have we have three. Yeah, anyway, we'll go. We have more. Don't we worry. have more? It'll We're be good. Fine. All right. Next up, we got Tex. Tex. Look, it seems unlikely, except that it's never not been the case that we've gotten two A specs. There's only two A. There's only two packs left. So, what he said. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see it. Fireball. Fireball. Roselia. Cutie Flat. Drill Burr will score. I see it. Drill Burr scores. The Reller. The Sauce Buck. The Perilous Juggle. The Unfiz on the <laughs> Master Ball! What I tell you? What I tell you, Tex? You the did call it. Ball you is right it. there. And there the we go. Well, it's about time. About time, more like oh it. Let's gosh. see. Number 153 on the set is our Master Ball. I should remember it by now, but I don't. $9.19 will round up to 10. So the 12 point pack. A 12 point pack will put you up to 22, 22 for the on season. the season. A All great right. season. And you get a Master Ball. Wow, I'm sure you're a lot happier to see this Master Ball than uh, last week when it knocked someone out of last place. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, don't go and forget your energy. Sorry about yes, that. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm sure right. that was a can much, be, much Then, happier. can our theories be correct that this must contain the other ace back? It must. It must indeed. All right, this is for, oh my gosh, man, this is for Aiden, aka Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Who uh, actually joins us once a month to play games here on Super Carlin Gaming. Which, if you two would like to do, you can do so by going over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting the Gaming with Patrons tier. Okay, all right. And so uh, Kool-Aid Man was in the game for a while. This is their first season back in a bit. So we have a brand new card for them, but they're not a rookie. Not a rookie. Yep, that's right. So we got the Finizen, the Bronzor, the Mightyena, the Duosian, the Zaraora, the Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Delcaddy... The, am I missing anything so far? No. no. Bolton. Bolton. Oh my hey, gosh! The Torterra. Torterra. There That's we go. That's excellent. How about that? Number 185 on the set. It's our first one. It's worth $2.61 or three yeah, points. Three points there. All right. Well, I guess uh, that doesn't do much for Aiden because they don't qualify for Rookie of the Day and they can't win anything in last place. <laughs> in last place, yes, unfortunately. So. But still a full art card, so congrats on that one. The, the, the frustrating thing is that three points is the ideal last place point. It really is. It really is. But, so. he, but he did it with one back. <coughs> he did so. it with one back. Right. So, so yeah, you can't Part of the accomplishment is failing to get more points. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, okay. all right. We need to go pull one last pack. I guess this is a rare box where the ace specs only came in one. Uh, but we have it? more single packs. Don't worry. Okay, what I'm would back. be great is if this one just happened to have an ace. It would be it would be, be so, so incredible. Great. I would love that. So our last player of the day is Aureus Khan. Aureus Khan. Okay, but three points for Team Crass. 
Team Grass has been fighting here at the end of the at the end of the pack. The last five packs have all been from Team Grass. Buddy Buddy Poth will score. Buddy will score. The Zero Aura will not torpedo Raichu. Oh, the Ghastly! What? We know the Ghastly is good to the tune of like 30 points, I, I think it's say. 34. Let's yeah. double check for safety, but number 177. Another. This is another case though where it's going to be a big points, but their, their existing score isn't high enough to tip Steven out of seven. Nope, yeah, so it's going to be at 33, 22, wow, which will round up to 34. Plus three is 37, 38. 38, so 41 points on the season total for Arreus Wait, Khan. Wait, no, more than that, 43 points. Number, number, number check. 43 points for the season! How about that? There you go, and you get the Ghastly, which is just as, I think this is like the third one we've pulled, but it is like very valuable. I want to, I want to say that we pulled a Ghastly from one of the bonus packs last time. Did we? Does that sound right? I don't know, I can't remember at all. Man. Maybe Ethan can check for us. Okay, maybe okay. Not. <laughs> yeah. Let's see that in an instant replay. You jiggle the bonus packs. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, of course. So, we can, we can give two reactions. I knew it! We I did it! I thought so! Yes! Core. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah it wasn't mind. that one. We remembered Just wrong. a regular pack. Yeah. Oh, well. Mind. Yeah. Cool. You don't have to do any of that work if you don't feel like it. That also, that's silliness. Yes. Okay. Um, that was loud. It was, yeah. Good snappy nap. Okay. Um,. Man, okay, well I feel like we heated up a little bit there at the tail we end. We did. We which, got, which storm got the 39 points? Yeah, we had the Bianca's Devotion, we had the Ghastly, and we had the Master Ball, but we only had one Ace spec, unbelievably. It had like no gold cards to speak of at all. I know, I don't think we've had a gold card the past two boxes. No, you're even. right, surprising. So we're, we're, maybe the next one will just be like hot and heavy, you we got, know? Yeah, hopefully. Lot, lots hopefully. going on, so tons of excitement left. I mean, we still have people at the top of the leaderboard with packs left to open. We, of course, got the whole Big Steve race happening yes, at the moment. Like, like, like someone has got to sneak in there. Yes, there, there's like a weird Surely. amount of resistance at this like 50 point barrier that nobody two boxes in has been able to crack through. So I am I am so excited to see what comes next. Be sure to tune in next week. But otherwise, guys, if you would like to sign up and have us open a pack for you, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting the box breakers tier. Yeah, hope to see you here on the show. But until next time, Hari. Yama! Yeah,